And we're back. It is truly amazing how quickly time goes by. Life really is like it was described to me. I remember years ago someone told me that life is like a toilet paper roll. The closer you get to the the end of it, the quicker it goes. Anyways, breaking. Jurors reach a shocking decision, an officer involved shooting. The ex-officer who shot and killed Seville Smith of Milwaukee has been acquitted. Foxnews.com reports a former Milwaukee police officer has been acquitted of reckless homicide in the fatal shooting of a black man that sparked riots last summer. Jurors in Milwaukee County Circuit Court Wednesday found that the former officer, Dominic Hegan Brown, who is also black, was justified when he shot 23-year-old Seville Smith following a traffic stop in August. Hagen Brown fatally shot Smith after Smith ran from the traffic stop with a gun. During the foot chase, prosecutors claim Smith threw his gun over a fence and was defenseless when the officer shot him. And for those of you who have not seen the footage or just forgot, let's take a look and you be the judge, you be the jury. Video shows then Milwaukee police officer Dominique Hagen Brown chasing Seville Smith last August. Smith had a handgun. When he gets to a fence, Hagen Brown shoots him once. As Smith drops or throws the gun over the fence, Hagen Brown shoots him a second time. Less than two seconds later, a fatal shot. Prosecutors say the first shot was justified, but the second was not, leading to the reckless homicide charge. Hagen and Brown's partner testified why they were chasing Smith in the first place. They saw him with a gun. I don't recall exactly what position the firearm he was holding it in, but I observed the firearm, and at that point we made eye contact as, as we were, um, his shoulders were, were turned towards me, and we were making eye contact. The video of the shooting was played in real time in court so jurors could see just how fast it went down. Some of Smith's family members sobbed and gasped as it was played, leading the judge to clear the courtroom and the defense to call for a mistrial. Something dramatic happened here that caused the jury to be removed from the courtroom and stopped the evidence from being presented. And so at this time, I'm going to make a record asking for a mistrial. Breaking. Huge announcement from President Trump. Everything he says is huge. Just then, President Trump will host a re-election fundraiser at his Washington hotel, campaign director confirms NBC News. Trump sure will be ready, and the Republicans sure will be ready by 2018 with the fundraising breaking records every month. I would be scared out of my wits if I was a Democrat right now. Michael Moore just went on a rampage. And it wasn't an eating rampage. Even though, judging on him, I'm guessing he does that from time to time. Leftist documentary filmmaker Michael Moore raged on Twitter after news of John Ossoff's defeat broke. Breitbart reported, documentary filmmaker and leftist activist Michael Moore took on Twitter Wednesday to express his frustration with the Democratic Party after John Ossoff lost to Republican Karen Handel in Tuesday night's special election for Georgia's 6th District Congressional seat. I still don't know what the hell they were thinking. Out of all the special elections, they chose the county that has been Republican since the 70s to dump $30 million into it. I suppose it's not surprising with the IQ of 10. In a series of tweets, the 63-year-old said the Democratic Party has no idea how to win. Elections following the November election of President Donald Trump, Ossoff's loss Tuesday marked the fourth such loss for Democrats in special elections since Trump became president. If you think the party who's won the vote in the six of the last seven presidential votes but holds zero power, is now 0-4 in 2017 votes, is going to win next year? Get a frickin' clue, Moore tweeted. The DNC has no idea how to win because they have no message, no plan, no leaders, won't fight, and hate the resistance. Well, valid points he brings up. I say this to my 7.5 million people on social media and the millions who watch my movies and read my books. Are we going to sit by and let this happen? I would say you don't really have much of a choice. It's not a damn thing you could do at this point. Moore, who released a surprise anti-Donald Trump documentary during the closing months of the 2016 race, 
has been critical of the Democratic Party in the past, despite his own left-wing politics. In October, the filmmaker said he does not believe that Americans trust the Democratic Party anymore, citing independent Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders' strong showing during the presidential primaries. If Hillary Clinton and the Democrats had a different time with him, or a difficult time with him rather, that should have been the red flag to everybody that there is a mood out there where people are upset at the Democrats and the Republicans, he said on NBC's Meet the Press. So to Micah Moore I say, shh, don't say another word. The idiots who you represent might figure it out.